Hi, my name is Ellen Capo. I'm a PhD student here in the Robust Adaptive Systems Lab at CMU. I'm working on the problem of how does a user interact with multiple systems, a formation flight with three quadcopters that are going to take off and spiral around and come back and land. It's a pretty natural expression for a user to take a large grouping of quads or systems and divide them into smaller subgroups. The formation flight is easy to specify mathematically so that I can set the robots a set distance apart so aerodynamically they don't interfere with each other. And I'm also working on a collaboration with the School of Art right now where an actor commands quadcopters in front of an audience. So we're also interested in visually appealing flight modes, which is another reason why we're looking at formation flights. Hi guys, um, I'm John Yao. I'm a third year PhD student here in the Robust Adaptive Systems Lab. And uh, my work is on adaptive control, which seeks to answer the question of how do we get uh, robots to uh, be able to fly uh, user-specified uh, patterns uh, in the midst of external disturbances, such as uh, wind patterns and uh, collisions. I'll have a vehicle take off with a mass that causes it to be imbalanced, and the vehicle must then uh, adapt to this uh, imbalance online and sense this and uh, apply control actions to cancel out this uh, imbalance. As well, I'll take this pair of scissors and uh, cut that uh, piece of the mass off and I'll have to do the reverse thing. And this will demonstrate uh, fast uh, fast adaptation. In the moments right after it, uh, it experiences that change, uh, its model of how it moves uh, starts to uh, differ from what it actually senses mm -hmm. and then uses that as a feedback term to correct its actions that it's uh, sending to the to the motors okay. and so the well basically intuitively like the motor uh, that's closest to the mass will start to spin down because you don't need to compensate for the extra mass anymore hmm.